Hello world and welcome to my channel. Uh, this video is about a fixing my water drinking, fresh water drinking system in my when I go camping. I'm struggling to try and get out cans off the off the holders in the back and I'm gonna try and fix it up and I hope it, it helps other people. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers! Okay, this is my setup at the moment. I got one fuel and one water. Now, this is empty. This is empty at the moment. But I normally just take when I go camping this one here. Now, I'm having trouble getting it on and off. I'm 60, nearly 67. So, what I do is I take a little ladder with me to pull it out. Even then, I struggle. So what I'm going to do now is I went and bought another, this is ProQuip, that's ProQuip. So I'm thinking about taking that out um, and putting a, a green ProQuip water container in. This is a ProQuip but this is a really old one. I don't know, if it, uh, but it's, it's, I've used that for years, probably 10 years, maybe 12 years. So what I'm thinking of doing is using them when they're still in the back of the car. I'm not having to take them off. So that's my project for this time is just to see if I can um, work up a system of putting them in. Now if I use the tap down here, I'm going to have to cut it and then modify it somehow. Then you get a problem with it leaking if it's down there or getting knocked or you travel on the road and it starts to leak you lose all your water so i'm not going to do anything down there at the moment so when i take these off and i'll show you what i've done okay now i went and bought a proquip food grade can of water um they're on special at tent world 39 bucks i know my original one i paid about 69 dollars many years ago so so that's what i got now while i was there i also picked up this which is a sink pump i could have got the kit but this is um my six dollars cheaper. I think it was twenty-three bucks at Tent World. So what I'm going to try and do is put that onto the lid there and um, have a lid. So my idea is not damaging this original lid. Is to take that and use it. Use this original lid when I'm transporting. When I get to a camp, I then put another lid on with this in it and that's where this comes in I just got this from Procrip off eBay and there are two kits um, so it comes with a lid tap and bung kit that's all I could buy I think they're 13 bucks each plus delivery of course um, so yeah, I, I, I couldn't buy another lid anywhere. I tried everywhere over town and couldn't couldn't get one of these lids up here. Yeah, I don't want the, I don't want that tap, so that's coming out. But so what I do is I, I take that out, screw the new one in with that attached to it. So that one there will be new, that'll be attached to it. I put that in place on the back of the ute and then just pump the water out as I need it. That's my idea. Yeah, so this is what I got. 
here. Um, some pro quick, so I'm just going to open it up now and show you. They don't sell this in the stores around town, so it sort of comes as a kit. Comes as that blue collar that goes around it to keep so you don't lose the lid. I don't want that. Comes as a tap and a bung. Now I don't want those either. So I'm just after the cap. I couldn't buy a cap anywhere in town. I tried everywhere. No one sold just the cap. So I decided to buy two of them. There's the receipt there. And it's got a little card there and from buying from Proquip, which is an Australian company. Um, yeah, I looked at uh, Front Runner, 120 bucks. Had a recess tap, but the tap's down low. So if it starts to leak, uh, gets bumped or something, then you lose your water. Well, this way, you've got no chance of doing any of that. So I've got two of these, so if I make a mistake on one, I've got a spare, but I'm pretty sure I won't do that. And um, yeah, so I'll have a spare anyway for somebody else if they need it. I'll just take it out of the packet here. Bit cool today. So this is what I want. So I'm going to be taking the blue tag off here and on the top here I'm going to drill a hole through the top of the cap and then I'm going to mount that into the top. It doesn't have to be watertight because it's going to come on and off. So but I want it to be able to turn a little bit but it needs to be firm. So there are all my conditions that I'm doing it for, but I want to be able to screw it on and then when they get in the right position, I can then adjust the, the thing to work. That's my idea. Yeah, so um, my hole saw kit comes with the right size one. So it comes with a 32 millimeter hole. So um, it's only a new, fairly new kit. I only use it a couple of times for work. Well, that's what I got it for. Um, because the other one I broke the, the drill bits and, and they're getting blunt so so I get a 32 mil out and then I drill a 32 mil hole in there because that's what it says on here fits 32 mil mounting holes so it's self priming double action nylon body and I'll see how it goes so that's the idea of this, to do that. That's my sixth stage. I'm going to drill a hole on here. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to take the locks off here. Unlock. And you take, take this out. And that's how easy it is to get at it. And then this is the uh, cap here I'm thinking of replacing it. So make sure the new cap actually fits before I even start drilling holes. Yep, yep the new cap fits perfectly. Tighten the screw up here. It's in the right position. Okay. Then you put on the hole saw, pull the collar back, screw it on in place. Don't fully put it down.
and then the locking pins lock into there. If you don't do that, you can't get the thing undone. And that locks it in place. So to release it, you can pull it back, pull this collar back here, and you can unscrew it. But if you don't do that, you'll never get it off. Well, you have to put an device to get it off. It's a secret. So yeah, and then I'm going to drill that hole in the middle of there, like that, with a battery drill. But first I've got to work out a way of clamping it down. Okay, um, I'm going to put a pilot hole in first. So before I start, I'll open this up. And get a pilot hole. We get a tiny one first. I'll take that out of there. Okay, so I need to get a pilot hole on that. Yeah, I get a pilot hole on there now. This might go to a bigger hole. Put that down. Might go up just slightly bigger. And I'm going to screw it to the top of the drum, which will hold it in place. So I haven't got to put in a vice. I don't want to damage it. So we'll go for a bigger hole. Can you see that? Yeah. So we just go through. Okay, so that's that's done. You can see that there now as I get a bigger hole in it. I'm just hoping it doesn't go sideways when I put it in. down there like that and I'll try this See the hole in there. Undo that. And I'm just going to clean that up. Just going to go get a file and clean it up. Okay, well that's the hole in there. Um, I've cleaned it up. I don't do it too much. It's only plastic. This around here, open this up. Take it out. Okay, so that's just it. So I just unscrew this.
and then I put it on there. And then I screw that up. Yeah, just having trouble screwing it on. Just have to go get some molly grips. Okay, get a set of molly grips here. Might leave it a little bit loose actually. Just back that off a little bit. Yeah, that can turn on there now. But it still looks like I bought one. Hmm. So. Up to this can, the new can. I'll take that off, unscrew that, and then that will go in here like that. Now I've got to, got to get a hose yet and put the hose on there. The hose will go right down the bottom, but this is for testing. That's going to be screwed onto there like that. Make it firm and then just move that around to where you want it. Put a bit of Velcro's around the top of the handle to hold that back. And then you just pump your water out. Put a cup. It's going to work like a new one. See? Look at that on top of the drum. Perfect. And all you do is pump it up like that. And then the water will come out. Well, I didn't think about this earlier. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'll unscrew this. And I'm going to get a, some fresh water hose, put a hose on there. Well, this is food grade hose. Um, from uh, where did I get it from? A long time ago, I bought it from um, Rotec Marine. Yeah, so I come out of my caravan. I got two of them. I tend to only use one, so if I'm taking a little bit off, this won't matter. And I might keep the rest in the car anyway to fill it up. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put that over there like that and push it on there. I might get a, a clamp out of my car and clamp it on. So that's what's going to happen. That'll go on there quite good. Really tight fit. I don't want to push it right on yet. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to measure it and uh, cut it. Okay, so I might get, it doesn't have to be exact. If I need to cut a little bit off, I will. So I put that on the there. That will come down to here on the on the tank. So I need something that'll curl around a little bit. I'll put it down there like that and up to there. So about there we'll do it.
Okay. Now, I'll put that onto there. Oh, it's tight. <clears throat> that won't need a clamp. I'm not bothering clamping that, so that's what it looks like. That goes into there. I'll move that around. So it's opposite. It goes in here, out there, and then down there. That's what it looks like. goes into there, into there, into there. Ah, uh, uh, a bit long. So I'm going to cut a bit off of that. Cut a bit off. Tiny bit long, but it'll be right. Still hitting the side. Yeah, okay. I'll take a bit more off. Hitting the side a bit more, so I'll take a bit more off. That'll let you right down the bottom. If it's only a light amount in there, I can always take it out. Okay, that should do it. Into there, into there, into there. So that'll take it down to about there. Put that back in there. Into there. Ah, oh, that's better. So you screw that on. See, screwing on might be a problem. Uh, yeah. I might have to loosen that up a little bit more. now put that back in there like that into there and then turn that around that's it and then pump it up should work perfectly okay it's pretty windy out here today it's going to swing around everywhere So this is my idea here. If I unscrew this and leave it there, I'll put it somewhere, maybe down there or somewhere. That should be do it. Then this goes into here, like that. This drum, I oh she never thought about that. purpose of the demonstration it should be fine so, and that's what it is I'm just going to get a cup okay I'll try this out now there's a glass Priming, why isn't it down? I didn't put much water in it, I suppose. Oh, 
maybe is not long enough. Okay, I might have to turn that one around that way then. So I've decided to turn that around the opposite, same as that. Hooks in there and goes around there and see how that happens. Screw that back on again. Okay. Over here. Oh, here it comes. Wow, look at that. Well, I've already rinsed the tank out, of course. <laughs> but, well, yeah, you get the idea, don't you? It's going to work brilliantly. It works up and down, you get what you want. Leave it there while you're camping. Uh, you want a glass of water to drink, you want um, something to put in your, your uh, quick boil, or your, in my case, it's a um, Camp Master boiler. Yeah. And then this could be swapped around from this tank to that tank. So yeah, you can swap it around from tank to tank. Mmm. So there. Definitely going to work for me. When I go to the Cape, I'm probably going to take Two water and no fuel. I think water is more important than the fuel. The fuel I think can get out of your air up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As I said, you can see it's working perfectly. Um, it's not going to stay there when I'm travelling. I'll be moving it from this one to that water tank. This is the fuel at the moment, but I don't need fuel. I'm not sure. As far as I know, to go to the Cape or anywhere I go, you can get fuel within two to three hundred kilometres. So, and I know I can get about 650, 700 out of this tank and this ute. Um, so yeah, that's my idea of having two water in the back when I go to the Cape next year. And then I, instead of taking them off, any time I take them off is to, um, is when they're empty, I suppose, and clean them. Because I'm going to use that hose there, and I might even buy another hose so I can fill it up. And that's a proper drinking water hose, the one down there. So that's my idea. Yeah, you just take that out when you're finished. It's still loose enough to get on and off. You just take that out of there. And that's it. And then you put the cap back on. And then you put the top back on, the top like this, you put that back in. That stops anybody stealing your water. They can't get out the bung or the tap you have down here. So if we went to the Cape, someone could take the water out of there without a tap. 
No, they probably won't, but I don't know. I've never been up there. I heard a lot of people steal up that way. So yeah, that's that's my idea. Okay, well I hope you like this video. It's a simple idea. It's for older people. Maybe somebody that's not strong, uh, like kids or my wife. She wouldn't be able to lift that drum out of full drum out of there. I barely can. So yeah, this idea is for those people. Easy. It's like having a sink at home or in a, in a, in a yacht. I had these in yachts before. So and uh, it's going to work for me. Okay. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers.